So hey YouTube, today I'm going to be reacting to this criminal rapist black man who was assaulting little kids. So it was this lady, she owned a daycare and her husband, which was a black man, he was assaulting the little kids. And basically she found, first she confronted him and he denied it. Then she found out when another woman told her and bas she told her basically that her husband was doing it and she saw the pain and the expression on her face. And she realized that her husband was really assaulting these children. So she shot him. She shot him. The Negro did not die. Said that the Jigaboo did not die. I wish he would have died. But she ended up getting arrested for killing this, for shooting this man. And I think she got four years for this. She shouldn't have got four years. But I'm pretty sure the white man who locked up for four years was also a great best. But it reminds me of the story of that white lady who her husband was, who her son was being assaulted by that man. I forgot, it was on Oprah. And basically, she ended up killing him because he kept getting away with assaulting little boys. And she ended up killing the white man. And she got locked up for life, I think. But anyway, let's get into this story. So we're going to react to it. Horrible crimes against... How are you? Bruce? So this is the black lady who, she owned a daycare. Her business is gone now. Because of her husband, that black man, it's his fault. So she owned a daycare and her husband was assaulting the kids. She was trying to protect the kids, but she did not know that her husband was the uh, somebody who was assaulting kids. And this is like, you need to know who you lay down with. If it's a black man, most likely he's a super predator or he's a sex tourist. That's what you hear the passport rules. Or he's a sexual deviant. So just be careful. Be careful as in stay away from black men. And the judge says Shantari Weems took the law into her own hands. She sure did. She shot that black bitch. She says she snapped, and some supporters see her as a kind of avenging angel seeking justice for horrible crimes against... Look at that black man right there. He looked like a predator too, don't he? Children. I was emotional. Her backers were stunned last month when a judge slapped the 50-year-old with a four-year sentence, twice what even prosecutors... She should get um, a medal. She should have got a grant and money for killing that, for shooting that black man. He didn't even die. I guess because they get shot, they shoot each other so much, they start to become immune to bullets. But why did she get four years? Like, four years for killing them? When they get, like, three months for shooting each other and selling drugs? That makes no sense. Recommended in a plea deal. Despite my surroundings, I'm doing okay. I have a lot of supporters and um, people who- Oh, by the way, I support her and police officers. Uplift me and help me survive. Prosecutors have charged her husband. Look at this criminal. These criminals are dusty criminal at that. They, that. they are nothing but criminals. Black men are nothing but criminals. They don't contribute anything to society. They don't do shit but kill, steal, rob. And don't take any kids and assault other kids, assault other people's kids. James Williams. Oh, this is what they mean by it's about the children. When they always say it's about the children, this is what they mean. They want to touch the children. With 33 counts of rape and child sex crimes. This black man has 33 counts of rape and child sex crimes. He's awaiting trial. And his lawyer is... He's awaiting trial in his natural habitat, jail. That's a black man's natural habitat. That's where all you niggas go. At least one time. to comment. Don't let them sweep this under the rug. The man is still alive. Hold on. Oh, the man is still alive and hasn't been arrested for anything. Oh, wow. Right from the start, the internet was filled with support for Weems under the hashtag Free Shantari. She yeah, free her and lock that criminal up. Got her husband, a retired cop, twice. In and his he was a police officer at that room at what was then DC's Mandarin Oriental Hotel, where he was staying while providing security at the Urban League convention. The judge said her attack on her husband was premeditated, not spontaneous. No, it wasn't. That police had told and her he... days earlier. And even if it was, so what? They were investigating him, and they'd shut down her little kid's castle in Baltimore County while they looked into the alley. That's, that's the way I live. 
Oh no, these criminals. Oh no, these criminals. I should have known these criminals were by me. ...of child sexual abuse. The only person I had to find out information from was my husband. And he kept saying he didn't do it. And you believed him? I did believe him. But then... She Never believe a black man. They lie till their teeth fall out. Never believe them. Nothing they say is ever truthful. They are not loyal. Never believe a black man, ever. Yes. The mother of one of the children, a child she loved and cared for for years, said they had to talk. So I saw the pain in her face, and I knew that she was not lying. She finally said it was my husband. You think about that child all the time? All the time. I think about all the children all the time. I feel bad for those children that were being touched by that black man. I notice when black men commit crimes, they try to always use the term black people and group black people in the crimes. No, this is a heterosexual cis black man. Not a gay black man, a cis black man. Black men are criminals. Heterosexual this black complete man. betrayal of trust. I was totally broken. I, I felt like the, the blood had just drained out of my body because, again... This is my husband. Black people are so performative. I feel like it's in their DNA. <laughs> I just, I trusted him fully. He was supposed to help me protect these children. He all... Black men can't even protect themselves. They might make other people fight their bit. Look, I, I can't tell you how many times I've been on Twitter spaces where black men have said, well, whatever happened to us... It's happening to all black people. So trans people, black trans women had to fight our battles too. No, the fuck we don't. I've never been, look, I don't feel what you feel. What, what you go through in life is not what I'm going through. Don't bring that shit over here. Black trans women do not have to fight your fucking battles. We fight our own battles. You keep, you make black women and your black daughters fight your battles. We not doing that shit. No, I support police brutality against you. He told me he was my protector. So when I heard this, I just felt like, I just felt like my world had just ended. She took her first drink in 20 years and, according to prosecutors, texted her business partner, I'm going to kill him and then myself. She drove to the hotel and angry. Oh, by the way, when black people say they're going to kill themselves, they, they're not killing themselves. Black people are too vain to kill themselves. They, they always kill the other person. They're not killing themselves. They confronted him. I snapped. I'm not a violent person. I don't believe she's violent. Like, I honestly don't believe that. But I do believe the man she dating is violent because he, I'm pretty sure he like killing, he probably like killing other black men too. Because black men, he just a professional black man killer because black men only kill themselves. He, he's a cop, so I'm pretty sure he's a professional at it. A murderer with a gun. And she... <laughs> I was totally broken. I, I felt like the, the blood had just drained out of my body. At first, Sean Terry Weems says she did not believe the allegations that her husband, a former cop, had abused children at her daycare, Little Kids Castle. We were both supposed to be on this crusade of saving children. And he looked zesty. They go, look, that's all I can watch. I really don't like to watch stories about kids being assaulted but if you're in a relationship with a let's get get a good shot let's get the criminal profile of this negro if you're in a relationship with one of these porch monkey jigaboo colored black men heterosexual black men these jigaboos you need to watch them be careful watch them when you sleep in Watch them, watch your, watch your children. They like touching your daughters. If that's not your, if that's not his child, even if that is his child, they like touching your youngest daughters. They like touching all your children. Watch them. Watch these men. They are super predators, just like Joe Biden said. They want the kids. They want to touch the kids. This, they don't like kids because they don't take care of kids, but they like touching other people's kids. So be, that's all I have to say. Watch out for these black men. They are, they are out here touching kids. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. And that's all I have to say.